Hello everyone. Today we are touring the remains of one of the most haunted houses. In this world there is real evil, and it lurks at Summerwind. In this video we are going to dive into the history and true story of the Summerwind Mansion. The building known as Summerwind was first constructed in the early 20th century as a fishing lodge along the shore of West Bay Lake, Wisconsin. In 1916, Robert Patterson Lamont, an executive with the American Steel Foundries Corporation and future Secretaries of Commerce under Herbert Hoover, purchased the building. The Lamont family renovated and enlarged the mansion to transform it into a family summer vacation home. The first tale of a haunting comes from the Lamonts, and according to legend, servants working for the family complained of hearing voices. Then, one night, a ghostly apparition allegedly appeared in the kitchen area, prompting Lamont to fire two shots into the basement door. The Lamont family fled the house after this, never to return. The mansion stood unused through much of the 1930s and was sold to a family named Kiefer in 1941. The Kiefers used it as a vacation home but were never full-time residents. Miss Kiefer, according to the stories, was afraid to enter the house and tried to avoid it. Multiple attempts were made to sell the mansion and none succeeded until the 1960s. No paranormal activity was reported in the 1960s, but in the 1970s, the ghost really got active. Arnold and Ginger Henshaw, and later Ginger's father, lived in the mansion during this time, and it is from them that the most alleged strange tales emerge. The stories of disembodied voices, corpses found hidden in the walls, cold gusts of wind, and the legend of the 18th century English explorer Jonathan Carver and his otherworldly land claims over the North Woods all come from this source. Shortly after this time in the 1980s, the Summerwind Mansion was abandoned, and in 1988 it was struck by lightning and burned to the ground. But even then, the controversy did not end, as some allege the mansion was deliberately set on fire to stop vandals and kids from entering what was still private property. Lightning is still the official and best explanation. Summerwind Mansion's true story may never be heard, but what remains lurks with evil, and it is still a true paranormal mystery. So now we are touring the remains of Summerwind and seeing what is left.
Well, thank you all for watching my documentary and tour of the Summerwind Mansion. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video.